Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin roundup at the International News Channel. Let's take a look at the headlines. The CDC warns Americans not to travel to Canada. Cliff collapses into tourists killing 10. Prime Minister Trudeau says Canada has enough COVID-19 vaccines for a fourth dose. The schools ending the world's longest COVID-19 lockdown. A third Chinese city is under lockdown after cases of COVID-19 increase. Woman abandons newborn baby in dumpster. Canada agrees to support the U.S. to discourage a Russian-led invasion in Ukraine. Donald Trump urges federal judge to halt investigations into his business practices. To begin on Monday, January 10th, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention increased the risk of travel to Canada for Americans to level four, very high. As a result, CDC has warned American travelers to avoid visiting the northern nation due to the rise of COVID-19 cases. Turning to Brazil, 10 were killed when a slab of cliff landed on four tourist boats. This tragedy happened at Lake Furnas in Brazil, a popular tourist destination. Following the catastrophe, the Brazilian Navy and firefighters were sent to the scene to aid victims. The names of these victims have not been released at this time, except for the identity of 68-year-old Julio Borges. As of now, 20 people are missing, while 32 more are hospitalized. In Canada, with the rise of COVID-19 cases as a result of the Omicron variant, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has assured the public that the nation has enough doses of COVID-19 vaccines to provide all Canadians with a third and fourth dose if needed. Moreover, Trudeau has promised that the province and territories will receive a total of 140 million rapid tests in January to help fight against the fifth wave. This announcement has come as COVID-19 cases and hospitalizations across the nation have reached a record high. On vaccines and boosters, we now, as people know, have enough vaccine supply in this country to make sure that everyone can get fully vaccinated. Uh, we continue to bring in doses for any future needs uh, that science and experts will dictate to us. We've advanced 1.8 million uh, doses of Pfizer into January for a total of 6.8 million Pfizer doses in January uh, for Canadians aged 12 and over. Over in Uganda, students are seen carrying mattresses as they head back to their schools. The country had fully or partially shut down schools for 83 weeks, the world's longest shutdown. ABC News reported that many students were not given support during the lockdown. That is because public schools could not provide virtual learning. Since then, COVID-19 cases have been rising and President Yoweri Museveni has pointed out that if intensive care units reach 50% occupancy, there could be another lockdown. In other COVID-19 news, China has locked down Anyang City after more cases of COVID-19 were detected. Anyang is the third city to be locked down after cases of COVID-19 have been reported. The 5.5 million people residing in Anyang and a total of approximately 20 million, including residents and other cities, must remain in their homes. Within the cities, apart from necessities, all stores have been shut down and non-essential vehicles are banned from the roads. These lockdowns have targeted the largest areas in the nation since 2020. This lockdown, along with mass testing in Anyang, is part of China's strategy to isolate COVID-19 infections to prevent them from being spread ahead of the Beijing Olympics on February 4th. Returning to the United States, where an 18-year-old woman is currently facing charges for dumping her baby in a dumpster. A group of people looking for valuables in the dumpster heard the sound of what they thought was a cat or a dog. Uh, no. Returning to the United States, where an 18-year-old woman is currently facing charges for dumping her baby in a dumpster. A group of people looking for valuables in this dumpster heard the sound of what they thought was a cat or a dog. After further investigation, they realized that it was a baby with their umbilical cord still attached, which was laying in the dumpster. They later discovered that the child had been there for six hours. As of now, the child is in stable condition in a hospital in Lubbock, Texas. The woman, Alexis Avila, is booked to be charged for attempted first-degree murder or felony child abuse. In other news, Canada has told the U.S. that it will support the U.S. in efforts to dissuade a potential Russian invasion in the Ukraine. Canada's Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie has made it clear that the U.S. 
Canada and other NATO nations continue to support the Ukraine's sovereignty and are prepared to impose sanctions on Russia if they invade the Ukraine. These sanctions may involve shutting down the access to Russian financial institutions have to international transactions, providing arms to the Ukraine forces and implementing an embargo on American technology transfers to Russia. Despite having 100,000 Russian troops deployed close to the Ukraine border, Russia says that it is not planned to invade the Ukraine. Lastly, former U.S. President Donald Trump has requested a New York federal judge to halt the civil investigation into Trump's business practices. According to Trump, the New York Attorney General Letitia James is targeting him based on the fact that he's a political adversary and making a public spectacle of his investigation. At the same time, Trump sued James last month and is now asking for a preliminary injunction, which James argues are tactics to delay the investigation into Trump's organization and its real estate holdings. That's all for today. You're watching the International News Channel. I'm Julia Cosby. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss any of our latest content.